Is video call cheating possible? Cheating wife stories, Reddit cheating stories. The norms that govern love, sexuality, and friendship in the 21st century are not easily attainable. How can we choose these rules? How did we come to have these standards? My wife has created an emotional connection with another person in the virtual world, and I have lately come to grips with this new reality. I have been living a monogamous existence ever since I got married, but I recently came to terms with this new reality. The question why did she do this? Was the first thing that sprang to my thoughts as soon as I became aware of this specific situation. After that, questions such as what else has she done that I am unaware of? were asked after this. There is no question about it, her unusual departure from the norm has added fresh layers of complication to our lives. There is no doubt about that. I find it difficult to tell whether this new flavor of life is sweet or bitter. I am trying to figure out which it is. We are relearning how to love and refresh the physical element of our lives with a spirit of uncontrolled abandonment as a result of her indiscretions, and I have observed that we are communicating more as a result of her actions. I felt a sense of annoyance when I realized that the thought of my woman participating in sexual activity with another man in a virtual setting made me giggle. This knowledge caused me to feel frustrated. Regarding the other hand, I got to the fact that the modifications brought about around 1,000 new questions. In addition to that, the two of us are going to be journeying into territory that has never been explored before. Where does infidelity occur? Was one of the most significant topics that was brought up during the conversation. When does the affectionate touch, ACT, take the form of physical contact, or does it occur when your partner creates an emotional connection with their partner? It's possible that having a virtual affair is not all that unlike to watching sensual videos, which are just as innocent as a vision that was generated from the words of a peccant romance novel. This is something that could be considered a possibility. As someone who has previously been along this path, I found that all of these conflicts were driving me utterly mental. Immediately, I will tell you that there was a blurring of the lines between how I defined trust and her virtual affair. I will say this because I am speaking the truth. When I look back after this epiphany, I see in hindsight all the early clues that I had missed. She would leave the room and go downstairs to the office to smoke, and she would spend several hours there. When she returned, she would be visibly flushed. I'm sure I was deeply distracted. It took a sledgehammer to put me on this trail, and this sledgehammer led us into the most intense sexual encounters of our lives. I will never forget the first time I realized what she was doing. As soon as Liv returned to our bedroom after one of her smoking sessions, she saw me working on my laptop. This is how it all began. She lifted the computer from my lap and went onto the bed before I knew it, and before I knew it, she was already on top of me. The blush on her cheeks and the look in her eyes were something I hadn't seen in years. It was the first time in all of our time together that she had ever been so aggressive, of course, as any other without having engaged in any sexual behavior in the past, there was no question that she desired this. My excitement was virtually instantaneous at the moment that her pressure was applied. Afterwards, after my hands had already filled her breasts with their own hands, I went in search of her shirt. To the best of my recollection, I did not undo the button's positions. I had never seen a bra like the one she was wearing before, it was really lovely. I had never seen one like it before. It was a shade of crimson that was strikingly attractive to the eye. Dainty, lace-like, and sheer in appearance. In the same way that she need my assistance, I required her assistance as well. As soon as she was left with only one hand, she flipped her chest over and collapsed, to the ground. Simply put, there was a frenzied rush. There were no tempting caresses that were being offered. I was able to get knowledge about her the moment my fingertips made contact with her. An outburst of wrath brought to light her indiscretion, which was brought to light at that particular moment when all of the circumstances came together. I came to the conclusion that I would deal with this subject at a later time, and that I would have sex with her that was both passionate and hot. The sluggish contractions and monotonous habitual reflexes were gone, and in their place was wild, raw, demonic hatred that did not care about her. I took her as if I had never taken her before, and I was harsh, demanding, and with a desire to punish her. Her shorts were ripped off, and she was wearing pants that matched her bra. I tore them off. I was the only one who could see all of this, so why did she dress in such a seductive manner? Does anyone else have the ability to see all of this before me? 
I was frightened by the thought of her revealing to another man that she had sexual relations when she was taking a break to smoke. I had no doubt in my mind that she had sexual relations during the interval. Her physical appearance completely flipped my world upside down, and I remember thinking about how much of a beauty she was. Following my assistance in repositioning her on the bed, she took a moment to examine the pants that she was donning at the time. I behaved in a rude manner, which took her by surprise. Despite the fact that I was contemplating what she had done, I turned my attention to my wife. The storms of fury that raged through me were irrational, intense, and contradictory. They did not make any sense. Despite the fact that it had been years since I had the urge for her, I was still quite angry with her at the same time. My desire for her was greater than it had ever been before. Due to the fact that the sexual urge grew more significant to me, I took it hard, regardless of whether it was because of or because of the mental infidelity. Upon making eye contact with her, I reached out and placed my hands on her hips, pulling them towards the edge of the bed. We gazed at each other in the same direction. I had me under control. It is not the case that I have any idea, and it does not matter to me whether or not it has reached its highest point. In a stretch of time that was less than two hours, I arrived at mine and found out that I was looking forward to this new development with great enthusiasm. Our lives, our marriage, and our love all underwent transformations. I was the one who collapsed to the ground next to her, and it seemed as though she was just as exhausted as I was. While we were both lying there, slouched and gasping for air, our levels of energy restored to normal. We were both gasping for oxygen. Her eyes ultimately met mine as she moved, and her eyes met mine as she moved. While I was lying there, I was contemplating whether or not I should begin talking to her about her affair, despite the fact that I had just undergone the most incredible sexual encounter that we had had in years. My decision to remain silent was motivated by the fact that I wished this, and I did it with the assumption that this particular circumstance would occur once more. I did these things to her and had her do things that appeared too provocative before this gave me a surge of satisfaction. I did these things to her. I was anxious about whether or not she was thinking about him while we were having sex, and the fear just served to increase my desire to engage in sexual activity with her. The antiquated and inefficient prohibitions that we have in place had completely lost my interest. All of our newly discovered kinks were wonderful, but I still desired more of them. Instead of being a casual and infrequent occurrence, sexual activity had become a regular occurrence, and in some cases, it occurred more than once a day. Not only did I feel this rekindled enthusiasm in sexual activity, but we both did as well. The duration of this was greater than three weeks. At that point, guilt started to take control of Carol's thoughts, and one evening, she made an attempt to end her affair with the person she had been seeing online. In the event that she attempted to stop, this threatened to tell me about their conversation. After she had finished her talk with him, she went back to her bedroom, where she was overcome with feelings of guilt and anxiety over what she might have learned from him. Her eyes were filled with tears, and she was vulnerable and trembling as she shared everything with me. I paid attention, and then I surprised her by revealing that I had been able to comprehend everything for a considerable amount of time. Her mouth was gaping as she froze in place. You should subscribe to our channel in order to prevent your second half from cheating on you, and you should also listen to the next story because the one you are currently listening to is nothing in comparison to the one that comes after it. If you are younger than 18 years old, you should not even consider listening to the following one. Hearing the sound of the